Hey everybody, Gavin Loudspeaker here. I want to share with you my favorite Chikara moment of the past year. Now it's going to come to no surprise to most of you who are Chikara fans. I got in the ring in June. I faced Tim Donst at Anniversario. Now this was a very, very important day in my life. In a way, it was the day that I'd been building up to my entire life. On the eve of my birthday, one of my childhood dreams came true. I not only got in the ring with Tim Dance, but I stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and, well, you be the judge. All that training at the Wrestle Factory is worth it. Let's take a look right now. Tim Dance versus Gavin Loudspeaker. There's the bell, Leonard Chikars, and being joined at the commentation station by none other than the illustrious director of fun, Wink Babasur. Wink, this is your match you put together. I'm glad to have you here to talk about it. That I did. That I did. Though I can't take all the credit for it, I think Gavin Loudspeaker had a lot to do with this match happening. Well, he really only has himself to blame. I, again, I would not... I, oh, what is this? He just pushed Jacob... Off the apron, face first. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I'll give you sure he made some comments about Tim Downs that he shouldn't have. But Gavin's not a wrestler. Sure, he's gotten himself into shape and he's gone to training over the last couple of weeks. But how could you expect him to even last in a match like this with Tim Downs? Honestly, Leonard, I don't expect him to last. And I think I've proven my point. You know, Gavin has given away pretty much everything in this contest. Size, speed, agility, experience. Oh, wait a second! What was that? I read the blog on Chikara Pro. He said some of the people that were training him, that's right out of the playbook of Hollow Wicked. That's a little more like it. And you know, Wink, it was that, one... That's a little more of what I was expecting. It was one year ago to this very day, speaking of Hollow Wicked, that Donst had a hair versus hair match with Hollow Wicked. Well, hair versus mask match with Hollow Wicked. And you made this match hair versus hair after Gavin finally relented and accepted the challenge. He had some early offense there, but I don't like Gavin's choices one bit. Well, he fashions himself some sort of Samson. Let's see how strong that talk of his is after his luscious Greek hair is gone. I know Gavin's a proud man. Don's is proud to a fault. He's got this, this group of followers here that would do anything for him. Veronica, Steve the Turtle Whiner, Jakob Hammermeyer. Jakob Hammermeyer was his mouthpiece last night on our uh, free preview show. Thanks to our good friends at Smart Mark Video. And I don't know, there's there's something going on. Uh, Jacob Jacob is taking a lot of punishment. All three of these people are taking a lot of punishment, but not as much as uh, Gavin is taking right now. Well, he's, he had his mouthpiece working for him. Because if Gavin's nothing else, he is a mouthpiece. You know, Wink, again, I, I, I don't want to question your authority. I'm just asking a question in general. If Donst about my authority? No, no, no. What's gonna happen if Donst beats Gavin? Sure, and he gets his head shaved. Sure, but Donst is vicious. Donst is a very dangerous wrestler. What if he injures Gavin? What if puts Gavin out of the sport? And Gavin can't be the ring announcer anymore. He can't be the host of the podcast to Go Go anymore. Then what? I think I've got a, a few a few competitors that would like to get their chance to speak into a microphone. Bit of an arrogant cover there by Donst and Gavin showing that he's still got some fight left in him. Well, he's struggling oh, what early. Is, he is wait, what is early. this? Veronica just handed Donst her baton. Oh, and he just broke it over his knee. Again, the verbal and mental abuse that he... he well, clearly Veronica was trying to bring in an illegal weapon into the ring. And he is pointing out that that is 
unacceptable. That is unethical and unacceptable. I stand behind that. I stand behind that. Well, he asked for something from her. I didn't see that. Oh, look at this! He just threw Turtle. He just grabbed Turtle by his shell and threw him into Gavin and sandwiched him up against that retaining barricade. Well, I don't know if you know a lot about Turtles, but, you know, if you hit a Turtle on the back, it starts to slip around. So it, it could have been accidental is all I'm saying. I'm not going to rule it out. Cover and Gavin somehow still kicking out. And this is the problem with Gavin's inexperience. He doesn't have the presence of mind, the wherewithal, to try to get away from Dance. And Dance now, just with those vicious forearm scrapes right across the face. And now look at this. And you see, you say he's not looking for anything. He just brought a pair of scissors into the ring. Well, it is a hair versus hair match, so it would only make sense that he's certainly just giving a preview. Oh, and he's eating the hair again. He ended up going to the hospital having to get his stomach pumped the last time he did that. Yeah, I wouldn't have advised eating a hair. He'll end up with a bezoar in his stomach. I've heard stories about that. Oh, what a gross individual Donst is. And Gavin gets the elbow up. Not a lot of force behind it. I guess the boot up this time. Come on, Gavin. Oh, he jumped on Donst's back. And he's got a sleeper hold locked in. I can't really tell from my vantage point how good he's got it locked in. Oh, there we go. He's got it locked in. Perfect. I don't know about perfect. We're talking about Gavin Loudspeaker here. He's got the body scissors on, but again, he's given up so much weight to Donst. And Donst just sends him back first into the top buckle there. See, Gavin always likes to have himself as the center of attention. The youngest of a large Greek family. And oh, look at that! Taking a page out of Saturnine's playbook there. Very nicely done. He mentioned she was showing him something at the Russell Factory. Apparently that was it. See, for every action, there's also a reaction. Again, you got to give it to Gavin, though. He very easily, I'll be honest with you, his career could very easily be on the line. And he could have very, oh, just with moves like that, just toss him into the turnbuckle. He could have very easily said to you, Wink, you know what? I quit. Uh, he's not the first person to quit over the last couple months here. He could have said that, but you got to give Gavin credit for putting on the tights and getting in this match. Oh, now wait a second here. I don't know how you react to this. He has Gavin beat. The match is over, and he just picked his head up off the canvas. Gavin's not moving at this point, Wayne. He's attacking his, oh no, yeah, I see Steve what he's got doing. There. Steve got in the way. No, Steve got up on the apron. What is, what's Jakob doing in there now? He was preparing his hair for the end of the match, I guess. I guess so, is he gonna try to cut Gavin's hair? Gavin and Jakob have a history. Yeah, I don't know where the scissors got to, but now would be a fine time to get them out. Look at look on Gavin. Oh! He just dicked us! About time! It's been two years I've been waiting for this! All right, Jakob, way to go, buddy! Wink, I'm sure that's not what you had in mind, but that's most certainly not what Don's had in mind. We've seen that punch before out of Jakob. He's knocked out Hollow Wicked. He's knocked out Granit Kuma. And it looks like he's knocked out Tim Dawes. That was certainly an unexpected turn of events. I uh, quite honestly don't know how to process it right now. Well, Gavin here finally starting to stir. Dons is still up on that top rope, but he is out. And Jakob left. He just walked out the front door. Abandoning Dunst. Veronica out there tending to Steve the Turtle Whiner. Look at Gavin now up to his feet. He sees Dunst. I'm sure at this point he could just very easily pull him down off the top rope and cover him for the victory, I would think.
Fans referencing to the tattoo. Gavin barely able even to walk here. What is he? He's just gonna pull Dons down, I'm sure. Folks, I don't know if this is the widest course of action here for Gavin. Sure, Dons might be out on his feet, but he has taken a long time. Well, Gavin's got that quiver in his leg. And Wink, what do you think of your match now, I guess? Well, I'm not gonna say I looked foolish because it's not over yet. You can do it! You can do it! Oh, Gavin, what's he, what's he doing here, Wink? He's all the way up on the top rope. This seems like a fool's gambit. Honestly, it seems like a fool's gambit. Superplex off the top by Gavin Loudspeaker! I don't believe it! I am speechless. I can't believe this. I am speechless. Gavin just needs to drape the arm. There you go! And history repeats itself. Dogs has lost again one year to the day.